have success. You see yourself as financially successful, but in love, taking risks. Interesting, Taurus. Hey there, Taurus. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Welcome and welcome back to the 100 Acre Woods where I read cards out here. So let's read some cards for you, Taurus. We're going to start off with an oracle card right there. Look at that skull. And I've got two. One that is not cannot be seen, so we're going to put that underneath, because that's what you might not see. Skull is the first card out. Taurus, we're going to read that in a second. And the bottom of the deck, ooh, confirmation with angel numbers. Are you seeing angel numbers? I love seeing angel numbers on receipts, on license plates, on billboards, on homes, like the home numbers, and so on and so forth. So. Let's see what is ending for you with skull. 29 could mean something for you, Taurus. Let's see, 29. 29, the skull appears when endings are at hand. It is a powerful symbol of mortality. But this card also symbolizes the circle of life, both endings and how those endings birth new beginnings. You could be experiencing the end of a relationship, job, or phase in your life. It is imperative that you give yourself space to grieve this ending. Allow the time and space to accept it and process your emotions, whether it is welcome and has whether it is welcome and has been a long time coming or is sudden and unexpected. Change is often uncomfortable, but this symbol is urging you to look at endings with a different perspective. The plants pictured growing from the skull vase on this card symbolize the growth that can occur after an ending. Endings act as fertile ground for whatever you decide to plant next. Give yourself grace as you experience those transitions and prepare for a fresh start. This sounds very familiar for you, Taurus. I think you might have gotten this these are the mid-months I'm doing, and I use the same deck for both monthly and mid-months when it comes to the Oracle decks. I think you got this at the beginning of the month. Hmm. Angel numbers, bottom of the deck. And it was paired up with, because I mentioned the plants, it was paired up with um, resilience, and I think, and it has plants on the card. But today we have confirmation. Angel numbers, 14 could mean something to you, and I'm just gonna read the condensed version. There is no need to worry, Taurus. Continue your path forward. You are a light worker. Trust in your instincts. Well, 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 Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has. Jeez Louise, right there, we'll take it. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Taurus. Ace of Wands, New Beginnings, right there, first card out. What crosses you is the Seven of Pentacles. This is what helps or hinders you, and it's definitely a help to look back, but also it could hinder, the waiting could hinder you. But Taurus, you are slow and steady. You, this, this waiting stuff doesn't, you know what you've planted, you know what the Seven of Pentacles is, and for Pete's sake, it's your energy. Um, and you're willing to wait. Okay, so this is a help. Higher Self, Four of Cups. Your focus and foundation, Eight of Cups. In the past, the Knight of Cups. In the future, Taurus, Seven of Swords. We'll see what that's about, how you see yourself. Is the Four of Swords. How other people see you is the Nine of Cups. Your hope and your fear is the Temperance card, another waiting card, interesting. And the outcome, there's that ending. The Ten of Swords. There's that ending that the Skull card talks about. So, bottom of the deck, and that which you might not see is the Chariot card. The Chariot card, moving forward. Moving forward, surrender to endings, Ten of Swords, Skull card, and moving forward. First card out. King of Cups. 
and the hangman. Interesting. The king of cups is my balanced king. Balance between head and heart. Love and logic. And when it comes to new beginnings, you could be planning out how to make your moves. If you are, as they say, walking on thin ice, or in this um, guy's case, he's walking a fine line. What fine line are you walking? Between your focus and foundation of moving away? Mm, let's see what your higher self has to say. With that four of cups, Clarifying, there you are, the King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. I kind of feel that your higher self is saying, Taurus, you're getting comfortable. This Four of Cups can get, it's a feeling of meh, of boredom, of um, complacency. And when you look into the future, do you see complacency? Do you see comfort? Most likely, you do. But I think this Ten of Swords and the Skull Endings card is saying this has got to come to an end. And you have to take a look at things from different perspective. Maybe taste some risks, Taurus. Focus and foundation is walking away from, from what? What is Taurus walking away from? The Ten of Cups? Or are you walking into the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands, or Nine of Cups, sorry. Your wish fulfillment is to walk right into that Ten of Cups. And we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups, your wish fulfillment is to be able to walk away from painful endings, from lies, um, resting your mind from maybe what has gone on, whether it be at work, at home, in your community. There's a lot of love. Even the eight of cups, there's a, like the eight goes to the nine, goes to the ten. And I really am feeling this sense of your focus is on love. Even though your higher self might be saying, Taurus, are you really feeling the love? Or are you putting on that act of being there for the community? Being, uh, I don't want to say compliant, but being, oh. Mm. It's a feeling of fake. And yet, underneath it all, with the King of Cups here, there is a deep sense of wanting this, but not knowing how to get it when your higher self is pointing out to you that you're comfortable, that you are going through the same routine. You get up, you have your coffee, go, have, well, you might not drink coffee, but have your breakfast, hop in the shower, get ready for work, go to work. You know, there's the, the, this, this King of Pentacles has a sense of routine. This King of Cups has this sense of, of of work of almost like endless work and is that work i don't want to say distracting you but it feels like it feels like it it's distracting you from really taking a look at where you're going to move with this brand new beginning after these this ending into the future now this night is my creative night so in the recent past you took a leap of faith on your creativity, on something that maybe you don't go to the office every day. This could be something like um, getting together with some friends, a band, and, and playing on the weekends, right? And look at that. Something that you love, that gives you, and I'm going to say this, gives you nourishment. Because this Ace of Cups kind of has this look of Ace of Pentacles, right? With all, with the cornucopia. But this love of what it is that you do that's creative, 
again, you could be into gardening, you could be into um, really providing what it is you love to do. It could be music, it could be anything, really, creatively, that you're taking with the full card, this leap of faith. And this was in the recent past, so why in the future, in the near future, is the Seven of Swords? Two of Swords. This very much reminds me of, a, I don't want to say a deal gone wrong, but you cannot see the intent of other people that you're dealing with. And it's a risk. This is the Eight of Cups. You're taking a risk in love. That's what this Fool card is taking a risk. You've put your cup of love out there. With the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Cups, your focus and foundation is to get to that 10. Go from the Ace to the 10. And it's risky. Are you online dating, Taurus? Are you finding out that there's a lot of lies out there? And you've put an end to it and, and sort of set into gone back to work, single, gone back to work, looking into the future, but not really with this sense of love, but this meh. There's not really, there's a lot of lies out there. There's a lot of sneaky, what do they call it? Sneaky, sneaky peeps or something? I don't know, sneaky deek? I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How you see yourself is the Four of Swords, resting that mind. The Ten of Pentacles and focusing in on your work, on your legacy. Oh, Taurus. And the Six of you will have success. You see yourself as financially successful, but in love, taking risks. Interesting. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Again, single individual putting in a lot of work, right? Single individual dreaming of a Ten of Cups. A single individual who's at work at the desk looking into the future. These are single individuals. And really, the Nine of, of Cups has got two sets of hands on this trophy, this, this winning trophy. Taurus, it feels like you run the risk when it comes to your emotions, but you feel very comfortable. As this King of Pentacles illustrates, you feel very comfortable with work, what you do, what your skills are, your successes. And you see yourself sort of sitting. I don't want to say sitting on your laurels. That's not what this is. This is you resting your mind, body, and soul. Having the material um, wealth and abundance. But it feels like with all these cups on the table that you want more. That there's more to life than material wealth. How other people see you is this Nine of Cups. Interesting. This is the Six. This is your energy. But when it comes to your wish fulfillment of love, of emotional independence, this is anxiety. In your deck, this is an, an anxiety card. You're anxious. And it almost feels like you just go back to work. You just go back to what you know. You go back to where your comfort zone is in that pentacle realm. And the nine of swords, you're worried. People see you worried and anxious, worried with the nine of swords. I almost feel like of being left behind, okay? Worried with the nine of swords and anxious with the six of pentacles about your wish fulfillment in love. So then we pull this patience card, the temperance card. Above your wish fulfillment card. So your hope and your fear is, there you, there's that. Sati. Is 
Is that the king? It can't be. And yet, interestingly enough, it could be, let me take a look at that. These symbols sometimes are confusing in this deck. I'm just going to say that. Let's take a look at pentacles. Mm. So who is this? Is this the page? Let me see. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. This is the page. When I see that crown there, I sort of think of a king, but I know this is the king. This is the page. Learning how to calm that, that those anxieties and fears. Learning. It says here the knave, a student, instruction, meditation, intellectual work, a suitor um, with dark hair and eyes. If you want your dreams to come true, act cautiously. Well, isn't that, well, it's clarifying the mediation. The temperance card, finding middle ground, finding balance. And there's the, the queen of swords. Okay, you're hoping, okay, if you're, and, and I'm going back to that dating, the, the, the online dating. If you are, um, concerned about taking these these risks that there are a lot of lies that you're unsure it's it's kind of like is that really your picture is it, it what do they call it catfishing i think where you think they look a certain way and then you you meet for them for coffee and they are not what they put out there son of swords and there's this sense of two of swords i'm blind i can't see the wood from the trees because of what the lies and the, the, the scams that people are putting up online. Okay, Taurus, trust me, I get it. I was an online dater as well. But this page of pentacles is the application page. Looking right at that temperance card and clarified by the queen of swords, this is you really thinking about what it is you say, the questions that you ask so that you don't waste your time and get into this for this meh, four of cups sort of energy, looking into the future and thinking there's no point. I, 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 I don't want anyone. I don't want to have a partner. I don't, I'm better off by myself. And, and your higher self is warning you that you're falling into this energy and your hope and your fear is, will I be able to really balance out and, and find the right words, the right questions to ask, so I'm not wasting my time with people who are lying to me. Mm, this is very interesting, the Ten of Swords. And it's right above that Eight of Cups. Yeah. So are you, well, let's find out. Are you stopping with the gambling, with the taking a risk, like I'm not gonna bother? Ooh, Magician. And the Five of Cups. Five of Cups in your deck is not, I mean, yeah. It's, it's loss, emotional disappointment. Are you emotionally, I think you're emotionally disappointed in all the lies that you're coming across. You're not really meeting true and honest people, but here's the thing, um, you're manifesting this. Are you manifesting uh, people who aren't honest? Are you manifesting them? this because you are anxious, because you are afraid of being on your own or left alone. I, Taurus, I really think that when it comes to this, that with the endings and new beginnings, your confirmation are from the angels that you learn through every person that you meet. These are soul uh, assignments rather than soulmates. These soul assignments are here to, to teach you about yourself, to teach you what it is that you really want with, with putting in front of you what you don't want. So it's very interesting, this energy of just wanting to fall back into your comfort zone of work, of home, of maybe community, um, and 
And if you have gone through an ending, as the card says, of a job, of a relationship, your anxiety and fear is sort of getting in the way of your growth and development. If you meet someone online and they don't, you know, they're not up to your expectations or up to your standards, wish them well and move on and try again. And that goes with everything, a relationship, a, a, a date or a coffee date, a, a business, contracts, people, just people in general. And whatever area of your life that uh, they, they tend to step into, if they're not what you want, Taurus, step away. Don't worry. Don't worry. Other people really see you worried about getting your wish fulfillment and yet you see yourself as having the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, the success. But having to really rest that mind, mind, body, and soul with that Four of Swords to figure out, to learn from what it is that the experiences that you have had and then to really, Queen of Swords, be clear, concise, truthful, have, and everything that you do and say, have this underlying energy of integrity. And then that's what you will attract. With the Magician card here, that's exactly what you will attract. But in the meantime, when there's doubt, you'll, your doubts will show up. <laughs> They'll show up. The Chariot card. And clarifying the Chariot card is the Five of Wands. Now I have the Five of Wands. This, that's if you're moving on, this is 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 really competition. Is really, but your your deck is is different. The five of wands is success. Look at that. Be prepared to face a struggle, or make an effort to defend the dream. Nine of cups, the dream that you have just. Fulfilled ambition, expansion, and abundance, and you're moving forward with the chariot card and that five of cups, or sorry, five of wands. You've got the five of wands, you've got the five of cups, um, and you're moving through it. Endings and new beginnings, Taurus. Let's get some angel numbers on this because you also have that angel numbers on the bottom of the oracle deck, which is confirmation. Let's give you some confirmation, some more messages. Four, seven, eight. Taurus, let's do four, seven, eight. Four, seven, eight. Your angels are encouraging you to connect with the earth. Get grounded. That's, that's what this Ace of Cups reminds me of. Get grounded in order to feel back on track. I see seven, eight, seven. Let's do seven, eight, seven. Your energy is moving through a powerful upgrade. Oh, that's what it is. So that you can be a greater catalyst of change and healing upon the earth, Taurus. That's a, that's a very important role and purpose. The universe needs you and your gifts and is grateful that you are ready to move forward with them. Ooh, Taurus, and I see 749. Let's last one, Taurus. 749, angel wisdom is encouraging you to take a leap of faith. And there's that gambling card, right? It's important for you to know that you have powerful opportunities to learn and the trust you have within will lead to a deeper connection with yourself. And that's what I see for you, Taurus. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.